Hi guys, I'm here today to share with you a design team project for Craft Supplies 1 and I will have the links to both of the shops listed in the description box below. So this I did, as you guys know, I love to recycle and um, kind of see what I have that I can change up instead of like going and buying something, which I mean I do do that, but like I like to take things that I normally would throw away once they're empty and take them and make something pretty out of it and I also love to have pretty stuff to look at but also want it to be useful like not just to stare at it because it's pretty but I like to have it like for storage and stuff so um, this container I did right here actually used to be one of these and the one I used was a uh, Country Time Lemonade mix, and um, it's the exact same container as this. This is just the other one that I have that I wanted to show you guys the before and the after. So yeah. um, we finished up the lemonade, and so instead of you know just throwing it away, I thought you know it's a really good made, um, nice quality container. And that was empty so I was like you know it could be used for something because it's good size and um, I was like I'm gonna make something out of it so kind of sat down with it in my hand and was like um, you know trying to decide what I wanted to do and you guys know I love anything shabby and pretty so that's what I did I'm gonna probably have to turn this sideways so that you guys can see it because I have to unfortunately record with my tablet still um, so this is it sideways this is the whole thing and then it just sits like this so um, the first thing I did was there's this trim right here that's from uh, craft supplies one and it's really as wide as this whole container from top to bottom so super pretty it has this iridescent um, threads in it already there's like a flower pattern and the petals and stuff has this iridescent um, threads in it and it's I'm telling you guys this trim is gorgeous and I really was going to use that trim um, kind of showcased on my project because it's so pretty and then I ended up covering most of it up so um, yeah so anyways um, so I covered the whole thing um, I did the bottom part first and then I did the lid covering it with that trim and then um, next I added this ruffle trim right here I'm sorry I'm trying not to cough I'm still kind of sick and uh, trying to hold it back um, so I added this ruffle trim right here and this if you can see like kind of has a lip right here I think that's what you call that so um, I glued this ruffle trim into that and then I added these little um, ribbon flowers. They're just from my stash. Um, I just cut them apart and then just glued them all around. And then I um, added this trim right here, which is super pretty. It's really, really pretty. I added that all the way around. And then um, here at the bottom, I added these flowers right here. And these come these ones right here come already pink and white and I just kind of wanted to mute the pink down a little bit so I just went over it all with some white paint just kind of um, distressed it a little bit I guess um, and then here in the front I added these two parchment flowers and I also added a bunch of the paint to those as well just to kind of get them to go together a little bit better and then I took two of these leaves, there's one on this side and one on this side, and then I also added these leaves right here which are super pretty and they come um, like this already. So that's that. And then here at the bottom I added this cream trim and this comes in several different colors and there's also where it has like the lace right here at the bottom, there's another version that has organza instead of the lace. And there's a bunch of different color combinations in the shop if you're interested. So that's the bottom. And then here at the top, I have to be careful because my butterfly is actually still wet. Um, 
I had covered the top with this trim right here, this real pretty trim I was telling you about. And then I added this braided trim right here around the edge because I wanted to have a finished look. But like I had said, I still want it to be usable. So um, I put that around it just to kind of give it a nice finished edge. And then um, I added this trim right here, this pleated trim, which is one of my all-time favorites. And this was the very last piece that I had. And it barely was enough to go around, so it was like perfect. Um, I'm so sad that it's all gone. Um, but, you know, I think it looks really pretty on here. And it's just gorgeous, and I love it. But, um, so I added that all the way around the lid. And then I added this pearl trim right here. Um, that's also from Craft Supplies 1, and it's super, super pretty. Adds just like the perfect shabby touch to your projects, and I just love it. So I added that all the way around, as you can see. And then I took one of these butterflies right here, and this actually used to be like a bronzy color, and I just painted it with some white paint, the same paint that I used on these flowers here at the bottom, and um, painted that up. I kind of bent it to it looks like where it's just like floating there. And then I added this flatback pearl here in the middle. I added some stickles around the edge. It's kind of like a muted color stickles. Um, it's still kind of wet, so I want to be careful. And then I added a little bit around the pearl, kind of as the butterfly's body. And then here at the top, I just added a bling because I kind of pleated this around this trim to make it pretty. And nice and finished and then I just added this little bling piece onto the top of it to just finish it off so that's the little container that I did and I think it came out really pretty um, I'll show you guys see like you know you can have this on your desk or like on a shelf or something and you know for one it's pretty to look at and then for two you just do this you I did, I'm trying not to um, touch the butterfly you can just twist it and you can see the lid comes off so it's just like this that's the lid and then you can see the container the opening it's all cleaned out I mean I washed it and cleaned it really good but um so you see there's a lot of space in there to hold like you know any of your crafting embellishments and stuff so serves two purposes which I love and I love to make things like that like I mentioned um, something that normally would get thrown away I like to um, you know reuse it and just make something pretty out of it and useful so yeah that's my altered container hopefully it's coming in pretty good for you guys here um, so let me know what you guys think. Oh, and also I want to share with you guys too, the parchment flowers, which I used right here. These are still on sale in the shops and they are, if you buy one, you get one free. You don't need a code. It's going to automatically be added to your order when it ships. So, um, make sure you guys check them out because there's a ton of pretty ones. Like I love those flowers. They're really, really pretty and they kind of already come like um, a little bit distressed looking but um, I added just some more paint because I wanted to have a little bit more of that look to it so that's what I did but yeah make sure you guys check it out because there's different sizes different colors um, just really pretty ones so um, like I said I'll leave the links to both of the shops in the description box below so make sure you guys check that out and let me know what you think thanks for watching bye